All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode 15 now of the Chicago Bulls bi week series here on NBA 2K18. We are heading here into the 2020 offseason and the final offseason. And yeah, today is going to be the offseason for well, the final season of the Bulls bi week series. We're going to be doing maybe one regular season episode in the playoffs, or honestly, I might just simulate to the playoffs because I feel like we don't really have anything to prove in the regular season. Um... I feel like Miles Bridges could be a trade candidate. I might do some weird stuff in this offseason because I don't know. We might, we might. So we have the 23rd pick in the draft. Uh, we really don't have any trade candidates right now, and we're not going to have a lot of cap space. So I don't mind trading our pick for some team that wants to move up for a future pick that we could use in a trade. Uh, Hernan Gomez, I see, I see some good players, but let's trade this pick to the Sixers for their 2022 lottery protected pick. We don't want to make a draft pick this year, so we're going to move that on. And we're going to go. That was our only draft pick. So that's not real unrealistic. So we'll get that pass there. So for signings, we got nothing. Team player options. Obviously, marketing. Nah, nah. I'm bringing them back. Wu Kennard. I'm going to decline his option. Uh, the Miritage trade did not work out in our favor. He looks. That is the worst player profile. Oh, oh my God. He just that looks nothing like Wu Kennard. Uh, Miles Bridges. We're going to bring back for the time being. And obviously, more marketing. But $5 million for eight points a game. Not worth it. I can get some better in. On the minimum, that can average 10 points a game. Like a Wayne Ellington comes to mind. Like a Jeremy Lamb, a Seth Curry, somebody like that. Luke Kennard, I'm sorry. Your two and a half years here in Chicago are all but done. Thank you for what you've done for this team, but we are going to move on from you. This free agency class is never that good. We are going to offer Brandon McCoy, qualifying offer, Sedaris Stormwell as well. Chris Dunn, making him a restricted free agent. Chris Dunn, maybe a sign and trade candidate. We'll see. Um... Jokic is here. Um, Millsap. Oh, we have like 15 mil. But Chris Dunn immediately getting max deals by the Grizzlies and the Hornets. So, those are two chains that would realistically be realistic for us to match it. And they showed a lot of interest in Chris Dunn. We could trade him to them. So, um, hey, there's Jared Jackson Jr. back from season number one. Is about to get paid, probably. Yep. And there goes Chris Dunn. So, we are going to match the thing on uh, the right to Chris Dunn. Um, McCoy in third. Well, we won't. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to bring Chris Dunn back. But, I might look to trade him. If we can find a good offer. If not, we're going to let him walk. It looks like Jokic is going to go back to the Hawks on a four-year max deal. So, there is Thormo gets a deal from the, the Hawks. But... Honestly, he could be a Wu Kennard replacement now that I'm thinking about it. Um, he, uh, do I want to pay him 12 mil? I don't remember what the market was. You know what? We'll pay Sedaris Stormwell 12 mil. We will. It's the final year. I guess, yeah, man. Oh, but you're, you could have paid Kennard. Yeah, well, I'm an idiot. Uh, I could have really just let him go and get JJ Redick. Actually, he could be a trade candidate too. I saw the Hawks were interested in him. Might trade him to the Hawks. Um... All right, so we could look at trades. Let's see what the Grizzlies, who were interested in them. The Grizzlies. And they don't really have it. Oh, my God. This team is weird. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to be able to trade him unless we would trade Chris Dunn for Barnes, but I don't really want to do that. Now, who? Okay, the Hawks, on the other hand, wanted... Wanted, um... Ah, uh, Sedaris one well. Dennis Schroeder could be a trade candidate. Could be a trade candidate. Could we do a Sedaris Stormwell for the Bulls to acquire a Mel? Okay, I will obviously throw in somebody else. Honestly, um, do we throw in Dinwiddie? Will that make the trade work? Because then Dunn would move to the bench for the final year, which I don't mind putting him there. Um, would they do this trade? Dinwiddie and Thornwell for Schroeder? And what if we throw in the Sixers pick we got and a future Bulls pick in 2024. This is the most I'm going to pay for Schroeder. He is very good. Um, he's a a contract year, so they're going to get a crap ton of value from a guy. And they have Jalen Hands, who's 21. Um, Schroeder's 26, so he's five years younger. And he's only he's seven overalls lower, but Jalen Hands, 21, 77 overall. Looks like he could be a beast from UCLA. So we'll see if they do this trade. No. Alright. Um, that is fine. Now, who was the other team that wanted 
I, I completely forgot. Was it Phoenix? I think it was Phoenix. Um, I really don't have anybody I want. Okay, what could I get? If we say we did Thornwell and Dunn on the trade block. I would like to do whatever trade for a point guard. Conley? I don't mind. Uh, he's on the Jazz on a one-year deal. You know what? I don't mind going after Mike Conley. Do not mind going after Mike Conley. I feel like Mike Conley will give us better production from Chris Dunn. So, this is going to draw a lot of hate in the comments. We are going to be trading Chris Dunn into Darius Stormwell from Mike Conley. 3 and D guy. Yes, Chris Dunn will probably be better because he's 26. Yes, but this is one more year. We need a veteran presence. We are going to pull the trigger on the trade. They do have Andrew Harrison and Rubio, but obviously Chris Dunn. And they're going to be getting Thornwell, a shooting guard out of this, um, to be a backup to Donovan Mitchell. Will they do this trade? You want a first round pick for Rubio. Unfortunately, I do not want Ricky Rubio. I will throw you that 76ers pick we got. Mike Conley. Yep, yep, yep. I'm ready for the comment section to start riding. Matt, this you're you're retarded. This isn't realistic. Matt, Matt, Matt. I'm sorry. It's the final year. Uh Luke Kennard wants 10 mil. We could. Do we have our mid-level exception? Troy Daniels would be an interesting pickup. Seth Curry. Andre Roberson off the bench for defensive purposes. I do not mind that at all whatsoever. I actually really like that pickup. All right, we pick up Roberson. So, therefore, the team next year is going to be Conley, Dinwiddie, Levine, Roberson, Bridges, Valentine, Marketed, uh, and then Whiteside and Brown. And then we also have Brandon McCoy. So, I will see you guys at the start of next season. We'll hop into a game just for the uh, video purposes. And then, guys, let me know in the comments, should we... Uh, do you guys even want to see any regular season or do you want me to just go straight into the playoffs in the next video? Alright guys, for trading camps, we can send, um, I would like to send Levine, Bridges, and Marketing all to untapped potential. Hopefully Marketing can get up to an 88 and Levine and Bridges can get near the 84, 85 ranges. But, time will tell. We do have two incredible good bigs off the bench in McCoy and Brown, so that could be a trade thing. Um, they're both, I think, insanely tall, which is the crappy thing, 7-1 and seven foot like if i move one to power forward it doesn't make sense so yeah um i don't know do we not want to play brown or mccoy i guess we don't play brown actually you know what we might do i'm sorry guys but denzel valentine might be traded i want to actually see what can i get for bridges and i'm just gonna look bridges and brown I i'm just looking um we can actually, okay. Um, small forward, slash power forward, making no more than 10 mil a year. What can I get? Imagine Tatum, Bagley, Porter Jr. Reddish, Collins, Isaac, Williamson. Uh, okay. Um, I guess we can roll with, uh, we'll roll with both of them off the bench for now, for the time being. So, uh, Roberson, you're going to get 13 minutes. Brown, you're going to get 13 minutes. Dinwiddie. Uh, McCoy, you're going to get 18. I would like to make Dinwiddie the sixth man. Um, so let's give him 25. Uh, Whiteside, 32. Marketing, 33. Bridges, 31. Levine, 30. And, ah, uh, see, like, we don't have a lot of minutes to go around. So Brown, for now, you're not, you don't... But he's so much higher than McCoy. So we're actually going to play Brown this. We'll get Brown, 15. Uh, we're going to give 17 to Valentine, honestly. Let's give 33 to Levine. And 31 to Conley. I don't know. I don't know. You guys got to let me know what we should do um, without making this too out of hand. But I'm excited with the Mike Conley pickup. I think the letter in the letter in the veteran leadership. I almost said letter in leadership. The veteran leadership will definitely help us come playoff time. Um, something kind of we lack. Like him and Whiteside. Like we just said Whiteside. But having somebody to control the pain. I know it, leadership means nothing in this game. But I'm trying to like actually have like a franchise like overhaul or control on this so i'll see you guys in the game we'll get some last gameplay before possibly playoffs unless you guys want to see me do a regular season a trade something like that that's why i need you guys to let me know in the comments all right guys so we're in the game um i would like to get conley in to see what he can do whiteside's got 11 and 11 marketing's got 25 and 10 yo if he could take this next up and levine's got 28 that's what we need like i'm fine with my conley averaging 12 and like nine a game that's i'm fine with that if we if all the score can go to marketing and levine uh, they also have RJ Barrett, this Hornets team. That's uh, The Hornets are definitely a candidate for my next Easter Conference team, but we obviously got to get through with this one. Marketing to the rack. That's an add one. He's going to the line. Good enough. Marketing in. First free throw is up, and it is wet. 
He's got 26 and 10. Damn it. That's what we can get from him this year. That would be nuts. All right. Conley's got 13 points and 7 assists. I'm okay, okay with that. I'm okay, okay with that. His defense is huge. I know Dunn's a good defender. Um, but yeah, Conley is going to be a better scorer. Um, uh, like I said, the veteran leadership. We were able to get rid of Thornwell in there. Well, not really get rid of him. And then we did, this, did decide to go with a veteran shooting guard. Well, backup shooting guard. I said Roberson. Yeah, Roberson's definitely a veteran. And he's probably better at, uh, of a defender than Thornwell. So, let's see. Can we run a floppy set for Mr. Zach Levine? Yes, it's like the only play I run. I know, I know. Um, it usually works. Uh, or it's like, it's got a very good success rate. All right, Levine. Oh, I'll throw this down, Levine. Ah, uh, anyways, in it. But he's got 30. Holy crap. Could we get, like, a breakout season from him and Markkinen this year? That would definitely make us title contenders. I think we are, um, ooh, this Baker guy for three. He was wide open. I think we're definitely a top three seed in the East, guaranteed. Um, maybe we could push it. Uh, calmly throw the alley-oop to Whiteside. Ah, it's too easy out here. All right, we do have 68% team recovery machine. I am simulating to November 1st just to see how we do. We are 4-1 and one to start off the year um but yeah like i said let me know and we beat the warriors damn we're six and one like i said let me know in the comments guys what we should do with this team um game two against the hawks levine dropped 25 market in 22 and six game three levine dropped 24 market and had a double double uh Conley didn't do much second we lost to the knicks by one point um okay they have chris Wilkes from nova right nope ucla uh we beat portland by five levine dropped 22 whites had a double double Conley 13 4 seven assists and two steals his numbers are iffy to start off the year. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that trade in the comments below. We'll V-Jump 24, marketing double-double. Dinwiddie at 16. Um, Brown at 12 off the bench. And then we won this game by two against the Suns. Uh, Market is averaging 29 to start off the year. And Levine is averaging 20 and like two and a half. So yeah, that's it for me. Uh, let me know, guys, what I should do with this team uh, going into the year. Bridges, it looks like he's got a minor injury. Hyperextended knee. Um... Levine will resign. Well, that's cool, but yeah, it's the last year. Let me know, guys, in the comments what we should do. If you guys just want to see like uh, me simulate trades to playoffs, which I'm okay with, or do you guys want to see me do like a trade deadline video? And let me know if you do. Let's see what videos we should, uh, what trades we should make in the comments below. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. We got a couple of, uh, episodes left in this bowl series, so let's see if we can get maybe 200 likes on this video. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys in episode I think 16.